Welcome and bienvenue, welcome, bienvenidos, benvenuti, benvindos to our break at Ergon Cards. Uh, we are located in Europe and we try our best to show you as many collections as we can and help you well continue with the hobby of collecting baseball cards in this continent, which is not the not the easiest of things. So we have a harder time finding some of the cards, probably paying a higher price than what you will pay in the USA. But still, we love baseball, we love baseball cards, and uh, we want to show you as much as we can. We want you to know as much as you can before you spend your money. And also be a gathering place for, for people that share this hobby, uh, share this passion for both the game and, uh, and collecting baseball cards. Uh, if you're not located in Europe, you're still more than welcome. Don't, don't hesitate on that. We are more than happy to share this passion with everybody. Um, today we have Dobbs Heritage Minor League. You will have a more de in detail review in our link at the description of the video of what this set is about, what you can find, what you can expect. But let's always make a brief introduction here. So this is a continuation of the video we had before uh, when we tried to compare Heritage Minor League with Pro Debut. These are the two less expensive alternatives uh, for prospect collecting when it comes to Tops and Bowman. So for the price of, let's say, one of these boxes will be as expensive as five, sorry, five of these boxes will probably have the same price that you will get from a normal Bowman box. So much, much uh, likable in that sense when it comes to price, evidently less market value than Bowman. So Nothing like a first Bowman Chrome if you want to collect prospects and have some value for valuable cards. Either way, there's still value in the market to this, so it's not like this is worthless. And uh, very interesting collection, I like it very much. The downside we can say to this is that uh, some of the better prospects are hidden behind short prints, which makes it uh, well, makes it kind of annoying because you're going to open this box and you might not have the people that you're looking for. Either way, it's prospecting. So whatever you have you think is not going to be good, it might be good two years from now. Whoever you have that you think is just going to be the next big thing, it just will not pan out. This is just what happens. Um, if you have been following baseball for a while, you know that's the deal with prospects. Some of them will be good, some of them will be surprises, some of them will be disappointments and you never know which one it will be. Very good thing about this compared to Pro Debut, you have uh, own car autograph. It's a little bit less expensive too. Um, you only have two, Pro Debut will have four. So depending on what you're looking for, what you want, you might prefer one collection or the other. I know people that don't really like a sticker autograph, so we'll be more than happy with two own car autographs instead of four stickers. Other people don't care that much, so you'll be happy to have four instead of two. Just basic math in there. And what we can expect here is just besides the two autographs, a couple of uh, couple of parallels. So you will have, uh, see if you can see here, 18 packs and eight cards per pack. Total set is 200 cards, uh, base set and 20 short prints. Uh, the design is the same design as uh, Tops Heritage on this year, this 1973 Tops. It's a design I really like. I enjoy the both front and back of the cards. And I think ultimately we're gonna open this one, see what happens. But to me, ultimately the decision of uh, what do you prefer between Tops, Pro Debut and Tops Heritage minor league. It's just going to go down to which cards you like the most, you know. It's nothing more uh, special than one thing or the other. So, as with Heritage, you always get a couple of uh, top loaders, or box loaders, sorry. So we got Jordan Lawler, Jason Dominguez, and Luis Angel Acuna, three very, very good prospects. Uh, on previous occasions, this one came in a pack, so these ones are all loose might be a bad thing if you are looking for cards in mint condition but this is very nice um, we could have been lucky if they were autographs but this is just a signature printed in there this is not 
an auto so that's it i think unlike yeah unlike heritage um, high number and heritage normal heritage these packs will only have one uh, let's say one design which is uh, marcelo mayer one player so it was fun on the other on the other collections that you could have different well different packs to collect also not just the not just the players so let's prepare copper here because we know we're getting two autographs so i'm gonna prepare a little bit of a podium put a third one yeah i'm gonna expect one of those uh, parallels to be good players to look for in here it's gonna be marcelo Mayer. obviously he's the cover athlete so you don't you don't get to be the cover athlete if you're not an interesting prospect so let me show you the odds first so let's not gonna read them to you don't have the eyesight to do that anymore and let's roll let's hope that we get a very nice very nice cards as before with heritage this is your base card you have a series of parallels that we're gonna have to look for some of them will be easy to recognize some of them not so much i think we have one here it seems like an insert i don't think it's a parallel so yeah <coughs> this is one of the inserts this is a uh, tops tarjetas it's the name which is pretty much just the cards in spanish as you can see ranas de rio instead of uh, river frogs nothing too interesting in the back just uh, like a stamp anthony volpi one of the prospects to look for He's a very good player from the yankees <coughs> something else sorry been very bad with my throat for a while So, beautiful thing about the back of the cards here, you get this uh, little cartoon with a bit of information, which I always love. And as before, we have to check the back of the card to see if we find any kind of, uh, any kind of parallels. So, none of them. If we have one, it will show here. They are not easy to spot uh, if you don't know what you're looking for. Because, so, uh, in the end, you will have uh, you have to understand the change of colors which we not necessarily will know or already have seen another card so you know you have a different image which we might not see the same player twice in the box so boyhood photos of the stars is another of the of the inserts we are looking for it's always something i like so Yakumamas de Asheville. Don't even know what that translates to. But hey, you can see the uniforms and all. I just love minor leagues in that sense. So another one. So three inserts in this pack. Very interesting. Some of the prospect pictures from this year. And that's card of the pack is Harry Ford. Very nice prospect from the for the Mariners. I think he was playing for Team Great Britain or will be playing for Team Great Britain on the World Baseball Classic this year. Let's open a few packs uh, in one go. Let's place them here. So it's pretty much like pro debut. If you know a player had his first Bowman car on the 2022 Bowman set or in the 2021 Bowman draft uh, you know for sure or almost for sure that you'll be getting a card in here who's going to be his first professional card when it comes to top heritage so it's probably the only way that you can tell from from here by memory if not then you're just gonna have to do some some findings try to investigate so 
So here, no, these are not parallels. These are the other inserts. So I got Michael Scotto, Tyler Van Donogo, Jose Tena, Ed Howard, Johnny Cavaco, Marco Luciano, one of the better prospects in the game uh, from the San Francisco Giants. Carson Williams, another top prospect from the Tampa Bay Rays. Ronnie Mauricio, Nick Prato, who debuted on the Major Leagues this year for the Kansas City Royals. Gales Vinedas. So this is the other insert, one of the other inserts that we have. As you can see, it just mimics the, the baseball pack here. It's exactly the same design, just red instead of blue. I think this also have autograph versions. Hopefully we can pull one off. That'd be really nice. So the second baseman prospects. We have already seen the card of Nick York and Justin Foskey on this video. So we know these are besides the normal card. Francisco Alvarez, Jose Ramos, Misael Urbina. A bit of a, uh, is this? Uh, no, this is the same numbering. So it's just a uh, postseason for the minor leagues. So we got a Vladimir Guerrero card, baseball stars number two, another of the inserts. So we have some of the, well, probably retired players um, when they were in the minor leagues. So actually an insert I like, I like very much. You can to see them before they were the stars that you know. Jackson Merrill, also a very good prospect. Curtis Smith, we might see him this year with the Tampa Bay Rays. Very, very good prospect too. Colton Kauser, another good prospect from the Orioles. We have him here as a cover athlete in Bowman Platinum. Harry Ford, which we already discussed. One seems funny, seems more of a drawing than the other ones. Kind of nice. Emerson Hancock, very nice prospect from the Mariners too. Let's see. Tristan Casas. To me, he's my likely candidate of Rookie of the Year in the American League. He with Connor Henderson. So first, uh, first autograph. Aaron Savala. He's a very good one. Is he the one that's with the Padres or with the? I don't remember. This is the one with the Padres or this is the one with the Rangers. The one with the Rangers. You can see the ACL Rangers. A very nice prospect from the Rangers. I think the one with the Padres is even of I think Samuel the name. Well, we have our first autograph. Very nice. So it's one of the guys we want to have from separate Marcelo Mayer, Khalil Watson, and Jordan Lollar. But as I was telling you, sadly they are all hidden behind short prints. So Joey Wimmer, probably a guy we'll see this year with. Uh, Milwaukee Brewers and Gabriel Moreno uh, being traded to the Arizona Diamondbacks. So I'm pretty certain we'll see him a lot this year. So let's open some more packs. We already have the first hit. Let's put it around here. That's nice. As I keep saying, this is a very nice alternative to collect some of the best prospects in the game. A very nice uh, alternative also to get some autographs. Because once again, if you go with Bowman, you might get them, but you will you spend so much more money. So, once again, this is at least uh, more affordable if you are Especially if you're beginning to end the hobby, you're entering this, you might not want to go and spend uh, all the amount of money that both money will require. So getting some of these collections is always very nice. Once again, I'm partial to Heritage because I just love the designs. Cannot say anything else. So it seems that we might have a blue parallel in here. Hopefully a good one. So. Let's go, Chris Quintana, Luis Rodriguez, Riley Green, who debuted this year with the Detroit Tigers. It's one of the short pins now. 
Steven Machado, Luis Gonzalez, who's hiding here, Joel Gray Jr. Daniel Lopez, Armando Cruz, a good prospect for the Nationals. Another good prospect for the Phillies, Josuat Garcia. Tyler Black, Oswald Peraza, top prospect for the Yankees. He debuted last year. My people expect him to take over the shortstop this year and then fight with Anthony Volpe, see who stays at shore and who stays at second base. So very nice card to have. What's got? Greg Jones. Alberson Arteaga, another very nice prospect from the Giants of San Francisco. Chipper Jones as a minor league in the Durham Bowl. Interesting. <laughs> it's been a while since we have seen John Chipper Jones. He debuted on 1995-96. So, Sal Frelick, Maximo Acosta, Brian Ramos. So, we are reaching our blue parallel. It's going to be Gage Workman. This one is number 299. As you can see is from which team I don't think it says here so I'll figure out don't remember I think it's from the Diamondback but I'm not 100% sure so Michael Triana, Pedro Leon, Dori Lorenzo actually this is a parallel so we have to give it the respect it deserves it's going into the podium James Wood, one of the top prospects in the game right now. I think he's a consensus top 10 prospect. He moved from the San Diego Padres to the Nationals in the trade for Juan Soto. I think this is his first top 30 touch card, so one nice one to have and keep safe. So we still have Gage Workman, so nice. He's uh, somebody that top 30 touch is putting a lot of money on. Noah Miller, the first round pick of the Minnesota Twins last year. Oswaldo Cabrera, another junkie who debuted this year. Also expecting good numbers from him. Evan Carter, one of the top prospects, if not the top prospect for the Rangers. Miguel Vargas, who should be prominent in the Dodgers this year, so very important player to have. Brett Batty, who also should be interesting to see this year, he's going to gonna have a lot of at-bats with the Mets since they didn't sign Carlos Correa. If you have been following baseball, that was quite the saga. So he ended up playing for, supposedly signing for the Giants, for the Mets, and then ended up in the Twins, which is where he began the year. Um, Brian Rocchio is one of the top prospects from the Cleveland Indians. So let's go to our last sets of packs. Still have a one autograph that we are waiting for. And maybe, maybe one more parallel. Um, if there's another one uh, that I have missed, which is very likely, um, these image variations or color variations are hard to, hard to turn at first sight. So we're gonna have to go and look at the back of the car. So let's open this. Right if there is any any autograph left, we'll have it on the last pack. We can show some last pack magic. Mika Bell, one of the top prospects from the Phillies. Alex Ramirez, Joel Quinoel. Carlos Colmenares, one of the top prospects from the race too. Steve Spencer Torkinson, who debuted this year. Cody Morissette, Benny Montgomery is one of the guys we are looking for. So not hitting under the short print. First round for the Colorado Rockies on last year draft. Well, 2021, last year is 2022, last year when it comes to this collection. So this is our second autograph. It's going to be Luis Gonzalez from the Orioles. Nice young player. So a lot of expectations. Let's move this here. So we've got Austin Martin, Baba Chandler. This is Mac Fanhoe and Liberatore, Rubio Angeles, 
So we've got Jordan Lawler in Boyhood of the Stars, Shannon Savala. So we got the autograph and the normal version. Sometimes the autographs are hard to miss because it's exactly the same the same image. So another insert of uh, top tarjetas, another insert of uh, baseball stars. So it's uh, got a lot of Jordan Lawlers in these packs. So another Alexander Ramirez. Wonder now if it's the same guy or if it's just a variation that we saw before. Noel Vimarte, one of the top prospects in the game too. So was traded from the Mariners to the Cincinnati Reds. Bobby Witt Jr., so very nice. Definitely his last minor league card. Zach Bean, top prospect from the Orioles. Pete Crow Armstrong, top prospect from the... Uh, sorry, the Orioles, the Zach Bean is from the Rockies. Uh, Pete Crow Armstrong is from the Chicago Cubs. Max Ferguson, <laughs> very cool photo in the hat there. Very nice. And Larry Arresto. So let's just go to our last pack. See if we have another parallel waiting here. So Brennan Davis, Cameron Coley, Benjamin Bailey. There we go. Got Marcelo Meyer. So that's a short print. 202. So very nice. It's one of the cards we are looking for. Very happy to have him as a short print. Bryce Johnson, Alejandro Pie, Warmoth, and Jorbit Rivas will finish this. So, good thing about Heritage, like I said, own car autographs. When you compare with Tops Pro Debut, we have four autographs and two parallels. So, you get half the, <laughs> the cards in there in that sense. A um, little bit less expensive, so it's very good. Um, I think the greatest downside is the short prints. We cannot, we did get all the good players in the in pro debut because they were not hidden behind short prints. Good thing about Heritage, like I say, the design, the uh, lots more, lot more inserts than in pro debut, and the price point is a little bit more affordable. Um, in the end, uh, I still insist it's up to you. It's uh, how much you like the design of one collection or the other should be the only difference between them in the end. So hopefully you enjoyed this break. And if you have any, any questions you want to reach out to us, please do. And any, any suggestions or you just want to share your cards or what passion you have for the hobby, we are more than happy to talk to you. So thank you very much and hopefully we can see you on our next video. Bye bye.